Hi, it's Peyton Purcell, and I decided to do my fourth vlog discussion on the essay The Art of Immersion of Fear Fiction by Frank Rose. And this essay was a little harder for me to um, kind of, I guess, understand just because it is very much kind of a reality where I've like lived in. Um, a lot of this article and this essay is based on how books became a reality for a lot of people like an outside looking in and then when artificial intelligence and video games and movies and just these crazy visual effects and everything started to become more developed we started to think that that was our reality that's our way of looking in but we kind of mix up the two like books when you read them they're definitely you read them and you're like this is not the life this is fiction this is some of it maybe nonfiction about the same time you're reading it and it's like you know what this is not my reality yet when we see it visually whether through its like artificial intelligence or video games or movies we are seeing like our real world images displayed in these stories so like these fictional characters these fictional stories begin to feel real to us um and although some people find that idea to be a little scary the fact that the movies that we see are actual depictions of, or people are thinking that they're actual depictions of life, and really they're just, it's a movie, it's creation, it's art. Um, the author talks a lot about this man, Jordan Wiseman, who basically, um, he is creator of AI, stuff like that, but he um, grew up dyslexic, and so him for him, reading was a physical pain, it was hard, it was not a good time, but he was introduced to the game Dungeons and Dragons, which is a social interactive game where you can tell stories and be a part of a story without having to read. So that was really big for a kid, a kid and children who had or experienced or suffered from dyslexia because it gave them a real look, a real opportunity to tell a story, to read a story, to experience a story without being in pain. So now what I'm like thinking, like it, it, it's a lot of heavy content, but like thinking and like reading throughout all these pages is just a lot of mixing fantasy with reality and how fiction has really become this really real concept because we see it in moving pictures, in movie theaters, streaming devices, on everything. And like even like me, like these stories that are nonfiction or based on a true story, like in my mind when you bring up this person like if you think of like in my mind I think of Jackie Robinson I think of when um Chadwick Boseman Chadwick Boseman played him in the movie 42 I don't think of what Jackie Robinson actually looked like and it's just I guess that's kind of just a small example of how we view our reality and how it's not actually reality so I guess the big takeaway from this would be to really just us as um, consumers of media need to be aware of what is reality and what is fantasy and what characters are fiction and what characters are not. And that honestly has a lot to do with just knowledge is power. We have to really be able to study the history and learn the facts before we sit in front of a screen and um, really experience that reality because it is a form of reality in somebody's head and realize that not all these emotions are real, but some of them are. And you just have to be a critical thinker and really um, think about the stuff that you're consuming. Thank you.